Hello and welcome to episode two of the Unobtrusive Podcast. I'm your host, Michael, along with my co-host, Gregory. <laughs> That's, oh, Mario. One of the two. I don't know who I got this week. No Yahoo! One... Yahoo! Spaghetti! It's Italian! Spaghetti! It, it is. So, uh, we're going to start off, we don't have an agenda, as normal, <laughs> as once, you yeah. know. But yes. I, I do have the feeling, I like I, got, I woke up from my nap today and had this great feeling like, this is going to be our best podcast ever. <laughs> what makes you say that? I I don't know. I'm just, I'm just feeling it today, you know? I, I feel so, like last week we had some ups and downs. You know, it took us a good 30 minutes to get into the goo of things. Yeah. Um, I definitely cut out at least fifteen minutes of stuff. Easy. Yeah. There was a there was a Katy Perry discussion that is gone now. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it was really boring, and that's actually what I'm gonna. I in the show notes too. We have a uh, first thing I was going to talk about. Editing is. No, uh, the first thing is metallic hydrogen, sir. I I'm jumping around. These are just this is all catch up from last week. I want to. I don't want to dwell on last week's episode too much, but I want to get a couple things out of the way that we talked about last week. All right, all right. Uh, yeah. One was editing. I've been working on it the last week. An hour and 40-minute podcast is not fun to edit. Actually, it's, <laughs> it was about two hours. It's now 40 right now. That takes time. Yeah. Turns out we pause a lot. We say, uh, a lot. I said it like 10 seconds ago. I'm now self-conscious about it. So you will say, that means you won't do it. Yeah, it's like, wait, they see, I can't stop myself. I'll edit all this <laughs> out, weirdly enough. Can't stop, won't stop. Okay. But you just, it's funny, when you're listening to yourself for two straight hours, like, not two straight hours, but listening to a recording of yourself for that long, you really do pick up on what you're saying. Because I've never honestly gone back and listened to two hours of what I've said before. Mm-hmm. So this is, it's new. Also, I'm yeah, you should probably listen to yourself, too. Uh, I don't want to. I sound bad, probably. You sounded fine last week. Also, apologies for my audio last week because I don't know what happened, but I was recording everything on my PC, including you, me, once, my video, my screen, and then my audio. Uh -huh. And my audio, after 10 minutes, started getting really jumpy and clicky. Uh -huh. It went much deeper, and it just started clipping. So basically what happened was if I stopped a sentence, it would cut the sentence off about a quarter of a second when this, you know, after it was done. So it sounds very unnatural, and I hate it, but things happen. You can't fix it. So it's going in. It's episode one. It's a pilot. We'll get better. Today I am recording this audio on my Mac. Okay. Because Ew. Ew. I, it just needs to be off site. I almost put a lav mic. I, I just I just don't like Mac. That that, that should be a discussion topic. Discussion topic for I another like, week. I like my PC. I just I, this thing's off you know off my PC and I can record just that's all it's doing. I was thinking about getting my little external recorder, but you know I don't need to do that. That's a lav mic. So yeah, episode one. It's going along. It's we're going to be doing this thing where I think we record a week or two in advance because editing's going to take a while and I'd rather be. One week ahead, yeah. Yeah, one or two weeks ahead just because I don't want to have to be like, man, this has to go up on Tuesday, and if I don't get it edited by Monday, it's not going up. Right, right, right. I'd rather it's like, oh, it took me till Thursday the next week, but that's fine because I've got this buffer time. As long as we record weekly, I can take a week or two to edit each one, which is fine. Yeah, that, that'll work. It's not like we talk about anything so timely, like if it got out two weeks later. <laughs> Mm, yeah but things actually what's weird is we talked about a bunch of stuff and then stuff happened <laughs> yeah now that was weird that was actually really weird but nice but weird uh the first one actually weird I, you mentioned quickly metallic hydrogen yes which that uh, that uh, that's it, that's very strange that that, like, was uh, the that was the bizarre one because <laughs> i brought up we brought it up i brought it up as kind of a joke and then the next day literally the next day <laughs> There's an article like scientists have figured out a way to what was it? It's it, it's through heavy heavy pressure that they're able to condense hydrogen into a solid matter. It, it's a it's a lattice structure, but that's that's technically still solid. So 
Thank you, science major. Oh, I'm sorry. A lattice structure is like ice, so it's like uh, very porous, very uh, cr it's crystal. It's like a crystals in like imagine like in a hall of mirrors or like a room of mirrors. How like all the mirrors are connected, so you can like see endless reflections, but just like those little parts between the mirrors. That that's kind of like a lattice, if that makes sense. That at all. that makes enough sense that I can see a clown in my uh, brain right now. <laughs> Anyways, staying on topic because this is science. It yes. says this is going to be high reflectivity of 0.91. That's that's to be expected. Um, <laughs> you could tell me anything, and I'd be like, yeah. Once again, uh, it's going to be one of the hardest materials on Earth. That also makes sense. Yeah, that one actually makes sense because I don't know anything except that I, <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. It's actually really cool. Let's see, it was, we hit the reflectance values on the Druid free electron model to determine the plasma frequency of that and the corresponding oh look see i just skimmed over this article earlier and didn't look at the numbers mm -hmm. but now i'm looking at the numbers are they impressive it has an electron carrier density of 7.7 .7. and that means what exactly i don't know actually but it's cool it just sounds cool <laughs> i see this 495 gpa thing and i'm like i wish my gpa was 495 <laughs> oh god that would be fantastic actually the properties are those Properties of an atomic metal. That I know what it means, but that's also extremely strange to me. But this is all new stuff, like cutting edge science. I was joking around the it can be because I figured it could be a metal, and you said theoretically, but it turns out <laughs> theoretically it can. They, <laughs> science didn't lie. Thank you, science. One prediction is that this very it's very meta stable. Okay, you both take a pressure. Oh, so they're, they're saying if you can pressurize this and get it to its metallic form, it will stay metallic. Interesting. That also kind of makes sense in a way, just because, like, I'm sure the everything that goes on for it to become a metal is extreme. Yeah, it's one of those things. Like, you, it's one of those you can cook a hamburger things, but you can't uncook a hamburger. <laughs> no, that, that was actually a serious like way that it was described. Like, I know. Can... I I really I really like it. You can't uncook a hamburger. That's that's my show title. <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling it's all, it's, it's, it's the first topic. You ne we don't know what else can pop up. I, I really like episode two, You Can't Uncook a Hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. That, that just, it rolls off the tongue so nicely. I just like having creative, you know, show titles. Okay. I think you're going to say them every week, but that's fine. I, me. I, I'm sorry, I'm just a loose cannon. <laughs> But you know what? That I'm actually I'm gonna say what I was about to say for a later topic. All right. All right. So, uh, second thing that came up. This one's more expected. The hydrogen thing was complete coincidence. Cool. Yeah. Left switch, uh, the switch online pricing we talked uh, about last week. We actually talked a lot about it last week because the most important part of the uh, switch online pricing was it was gonna need to be low for it to be com you know competitive and for people to buy it. And we were very worried because Xbox Live, P PlayStation Network, sixty bucks. Switch Online, we we're like, they cannot do 60. It looks like, from reports, they're going to fall within the 17 to $26, maybe max twenty nine ninety nine in the U.S. Okay. What, what happened was that uh, the president of Nintendo, Kimishima, was talking, just having a grand old interview about something not related to that. And then someone in the interview just asked him, hey... Any idea about the cost? And it's like, oh, between 2,000 and 3,000 yen. And so, it, you know, that was not translated. Um, when you move, when you move, do you convert money? Or when it was converted. Hey, <laughs> what, what is it when you convert money? Convert. Ooh. And he was exchange rates and everything. It came out to like 17 to $26. And that is a good price. But that, well, we don't know if that's going to stick or that's just the expected price because they haven't set up servers yet. They don't know about stress tests yet. They might need extra like server help because servers aren't cheap. So, amen. So, the, but this is what the, that's like their goal price, but we'll have to see what their actual real price is going to be. Yeah. I could see it going up to 20, 30, 30, but yeah, I can see 30 max 40 at the like absolute, like absolute top, but I don't see it going too high i think 30 is a good price that's two bucks a month yeah oh i i'll pay that it's 
Well, two like two fifty. Yeah, two fifty. And anything below five, I'm not looking at my bills and being like, I could cut this and save money. Five is really the point. Was like five bucks a month. It's a really even number that my brain can get. You know, think about. Right. Right. So, but that was that was last week. Like I said, I don't want to dwell too much on episode one. We apologize again. We apologize for the audio. At least I do. No one else has heard it. And I think each week we'll probably you know spend five to ten minutes, to, if there are topics from last week to discuss that the editor has found, because <laughs> the editor has had to listen to episode one. Not the whole thing. I'm going just once through it, but very carefully. Lots of cuts. So. This week, oh no! Are you just now reading the things I've added? I I am. Okay. It's gonna work. I believe myself. <laughs> Mini topics of the week. Which one of these do you want to start with? Well, actually, I should start off with the third one because that's the one I was gonna talk about earlier. So. All right. So, Mister the Mister Editor. Edit. Yeah, this does this does tie into editing, yes. Mr. Editor has shown me clips via Snapchat of him editing things that I say. He just loves to put little bleeps over my cursing. So I'm going to try not to curse. Actually, quick idea. We can make like a running curse counter. We could. I, I don't think it. you don't have to try. I mean, try a little bit because I don't want to have to bleep 50 things. But I do find that... I mean, like, no, no, like, I'll try not to curse, but, like, I'll, like, if I accidentally curse, it's like, ding, or something. Yeah, it's, there's a hilarity aspect to every once in a while. If it's, like, you know, the people who obviously curse, like, hundreds of times in an hour, I'm just like, I don't, that, there's no hilarity in that. Right. Well, you know, a couple times, that's fine, and I, you know, definitely yeah. when you're bothered on a topic. Yes, if we're talking about, like, a Nintendo related topic, as you guys will know from the first episode, I can get really passionate. Um... I'm ready for, like, the Breath of the Wild episode if that game's not good or has a lot of problems with it. I, I have a lot I have a lot of concerns, but, this, but we're not going to talk about that today. No, we're not going to. But I just feel like that episode, if, they'll, if those concerns are true, I'm going to have to get that counter out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But yes, so listeners, I'm going to try not to curse. And if, and I'm, you know, I might turn this into like every time I curse, I have to donate X amount of money to like a charity. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe make the show charitable. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure out something. We're going to make it charitable. That's, uh, I, I like, I have, I have become a positive person. You know, like, that's really that's seeing positively positive into other positive areas, if that makes sense. You know, just positive, 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 positive. Yeah. Okay. But that's all I have to say about that topic. That, yeah, it's a mini topic. Yes. You want to pick the second, or should I pick the second? You pick the second. Can I t- We're going to jump here, because you mentioned I Snapchatted you stuff, so... <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so today, Snapchat filed for IPO. That's it. Can I just get on the segue and just roll it? Just, there's a beautiful segue right there. And we talked about Snapchat last week, because I was talking about social medias and Instagram. And Snapchat's an interesting one, because it's funny when, a, when an app goes public. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. You have brands that go public. Facebook's, a, you know, they have a huge business model. They, you know, everyone's on them, and they do way more than just a news feed. All right. Snapchat, it has a user base. <laughs> yes, it does. That takes pictures and sends them to each other. Yeah. It has the Discover tab. It has some other stuff, but it's just an app. There's no website for it. There's no. There's no nothing for it. There's just a cell phone app. Mm-hmm. And it's funny seeing that go public because, I don't know, I, there was the internet, you know, the 2000s area where websites definitely did go public. But they were, you know, I, I don't know what it is about Snapchat being a cell phone app. I think it's the, it's the first cell phone, like pure cell phone app I can think of going public. Okay. And I, I you know, just, I, I don't know. Will Snapchat, because I mean, public companies, you know, they tend to be public for, oh, I mean, they tend to be companies for... <laughs> Yeah, public companies. But I mean, a company that goes public is expected to be around for at least 20 years. I don't see Snapchat going anywhere. Okay. That, well, that's what I'm thinking. I, I, apps die. Apps randomly die. You, you know, you Me tell no. <laughs> well, you just have another app that comes along. Like Instagram could totally just. It's software. Instagram True. could totally just publish something that 
takes away half of its users, and then what happened? You know. All right. You what? Would you like to pick the third one? Okay. Well, let's talk about the uh, Mario Run Goomba event. I am not. This was added out outside of the my knowledge base, and I don't even have the game. So explain what makes this exciting. Well, it's not really that exciting. TBH. It's just there so i feel like i should mention it um basically it's like next i shouldn't say two or three weeks because i don't know when this podcast is going to be up but like April. around the time of this recording yeah on, we can, oh we Feb- can date we can date the recordings i don't care it's groundhog's day i think it's like between february 1st and like the 13th they're like doing this thing in mario run where in the main course world there will be golden gumas just um in certain levels and if you like stomp on them you just get you feel like a little stamp card with how many you stomped and you can get like extra things for your little kingdom to put down. And that's about it. It's just a, it, it's the thing that I think is interesting about it is that they're continuing to doing these events in the uh, game. They're trying to keep the game alive, keep it supported. So I just thought that was really nice. Yeah, but I, me, I, me personally, I'm going to keep playing the game because I actually, I really enjoy the game. I wonder how many they sell on a daily basis, like the copies of the game. All right. Is that all uh, you had? Is that, is yeah. that everything? Yeah, that's it for Mario. Oh, I should just say the, the rewards for these little stomping Goombas are literally just Goomba statues. They're they're there. I just they're, they're that's it. That's it. That's all. This is, this is exciting. I'm gonna rush out and uh, not download this. Actually, the game is actually really fun. Like in all honesty, it's really fun. Also, Fire Emblem game. You should go get that. It's good. Hint, preview for next week. Oh boy. Yeah. Full review. Topic four. I, I just added one, by the way. Uh, I, I saw I, I saw I saw you typing, and I could hear that keyboard. Oh, that keyboard is loud. I it's funny. Your key back to editing. Your keyboard is also loud, and it's yeah. nice having separate audio tracks because usually when <laughs> one most of us type and don't talk at the same time, so I've just been scrubbing out clicking sounds. Because <laughs> yeah, both yeah. of us have that problem. Mechanical and nothing, keyboards. Nothing is worse than uh. That sound uh, <laughs> yeah. in an audio recording. All right. Anyways, so unless, next unless topic. You're t- unless you're streaming, in which case. Next topic. Apple sells a lot of phones, I think. Does Apple sell a lot of phones? Uh, they do. Yes. Do you, know, do you know the number of phones they sold last quarter? No. I don't keep up with Apple. They're not Nintendo. I know. I just saw, <laughs> I saw, the, I saw the number and just had to look at it because. How, how many did they sell? 78 million in the span wait is that like lifetime or like last week or a full quota so For... last three months. Oh, oh oh i i did the math that's 10 iphones a second for three months oh. and i just i'm trying to i was trying to imagine like this means you have to manufacture 10 iphones a second they're putting together a phone every 10 phones a second and people are also buying those Oh, I know what you're putting in here. Yeah. You just reminded me of it. Sorry. Of production. Yeah. No, I. they also made $17 billion in profits, which is a lot of money. Hey, Apple, can I have a million? Just, can, I, can you just can you share? <laughs> Apple, can you just drop a drop million in my mailbox? That'd be nice. They literally have 17,000 millions that they could just, that they made last quarter. In Jesus. straight profit. They made seven, like, it was something like. 70 something billion dollars but 17 of them were pro- billion were profits wow they're stupid numbers I, but i but that, that's I, that's apple though that's i well, but i like i like bring, seeing that because i like my iPhones. but every, you, you know the people every single quarter apple's dying apple's not going and, oh oh yeah like <laughs> nintendo apple's dying nintendo's dying yeah okay they they took away the headphone jack no one's going to buy an iphone 78 million iphones later <laughs> i thought that was Wait, is that on the iPhone 7? Yeah, they got rid of the headphone jack on the iPhone 7. Is the 7 out already? 7 came out in September. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm behind. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know it was out yet. Huh. Yeah, that was the one they sold 78 million of. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, yes. This will, by the way, be an Apple podcast every once in a while. I didn't mention that last week because I forgot that I go on Apple tangents. But he, he is to Apple as I am to Nintendo. Yeah. The old more Nintendo. I I like the products. I like, but I like PC too. That's the difference. I like computers. I like tech. Let's. There we go. I talked about Snapchat filing for an IPO. <laughs> okay. So do you want to? You've got two or three. Which now? 
What is this chicken chalupa? Is this go with the other topic or is this separate? Which which other topic? The one above it. No, not not really. All right. Do you want to talk about that or do you want to go into your other the two that I could group together here? Actually, let me just go with the one because you're talking about like Apple production. I can just do this one really quick. It's like two sentences. Yes, you can. So basically, Wii U production had stopped in the U.S. last year around September. And then this week, Wii U production ended in Japan. Nintendo is no longer manufacturing any more Wii U consoles at all. Like, it's completely done. No more will be made. That's it. Rip Wii U. Wii. Yep. Totally expected. Yeah. I, did, I didn't know they were still making them in Japan. I thought they had stopped them all, but they I were still assume, going to Japan. I assume the Wii U sold better over there than it did over here because it couldn't sell worse over here. But uh, It was actually really... It wasn't... It, was, it, 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 it sold, but it wasn't great. Everyone in Japan has a 3DS, though. Yes, 3DS is crazy over there. All right, but that, that's all I have to say about the Wii U. I just want to... Can we just go over there one day just for Street Pass? I mean, when Nintendo finishes that theme park... They're doing the one in uh, Orlando, too, right? Yes, but the Japan one, no, Japan one's going to be done first. That one's going to be done for the 2020 Olympics. So we can go to the Olympics and we can go to the theme park and then I can just stay in a theme park. That's that's sooner than I thought. Should we book tickets now? Probably, actually. <laughs> I, I cannot, I, I do not want to imagine plane tickets to, to Japan during the Olympics because they're just going to be stupid. Yeah. They. Know, right. I mean, how else do you get to Japan? <laughs> boat you want to take a boat there yeah you can take a cruise from oh wait no that... wait uh excuse me while i pull up a map real quick <laughs> because i don't want to i don't want to say something that's really really stupid hold up i just want to make sure i'm not saying something really stupid okay yeah you could just go from i mean i'm not saying there's a highway from la to tokyo but I was just making sure that, like, yeah, you could sail from California to Japan. I mean, you can sail from any coastal city to any coastal I, I, city. I mean, you basically. can go from California to Japan, and that's, like, the best route. Yes. It's much better than New York to Japan. I'll give you that. Oh, my God, Michael. I'm trying not to curse, and you're just, like, doing this. <laughs> this is my job, though. This is what I've always done. This is also true. See, the, the nice thing is, see, when we did the radio show, we you could get in trouble for that. We never did, but you could. <laughs> Heal, it, I mean, I, I'll believe it. it okay. there's, no, there's no penalty. You just have to give money to charity. Yeah. It's like a swear jar. <laughs> It's, it's I mean, those it do exist. Those are real things. All right. So I can go to the chicken chalupa topic since I just said it. Um, so that's how topics work. You say them, you talk about them. So if, if you've been paying attention to Taco Bell, they've had this chicken chalupa. It's been out for about, I think, a month, a couple of weeks. I don't know. <laughs> this, is the, <laughs> this is the Taco Bell. I did it. I did it. I'm sorry. I, I told you. It's okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, uh, I just said it too. Oh, uh, anyways, you said chicken chalupa. That's why we're talking about it as a topic. Anyways, so chicken chalupa has been out talking about for a little bit, and apparently it's uh doing it, it's doing well in sales, and so because it's been doing well in sales, they've been trying to do variations of it, and in Kansas City, uh, they as their Taco Bells are doing this thing called the chicken chalupa, the wild version, which is a but it's like instead of the avocado ranch sauce, it's a spicy buffalo sauce. So that's just interesting and hoping it comes here because actually that sounds really good. You are having a field day over there. <laughs> I'm just, it's a Taco Bell podcast. <laughs> <laughs> We've been talking, we just came on here and we're reporting sales figures from iPhones to Taco Bell Chalupas in Kansas City, Missouri. Hey, I've done my research. You did. <laughs> it like you over here like, man, Taco Bell stock. It's like, why do you think we should buy Taco Bell stock today? Well, they got the bu- they got the ranch wild version in uh, Kansas City, and it's selling well. Well, I mean, like, it, it's it's an R and D thing, so it's it's really nice to see that they actually it's in production and they're trying it. Best thing Taco Bell's done in the last uh, five years are those stupid Doritos tacos because I love those things. Actually, the Doritos tacos were. Be- actually a thing done because they were like Taco Bell was going losing money actually all of Yum Brands was losing money so they needed something to re- revigorate the, their weaker weaker stores and Taco Bell's one of the weaker stores and Doritos the Doritos tacos made Taco Bell like 
launch in sales. This thing's actually good. Yeah. Yeah. They're starting to decline again, though, but it's not as bad as it was before. I keep, I keep it with sales figures for food, too. <laughs> it turns out we really like numbers and sales figures. I do. Yeah. It, well, no, it, it, it's worthwhile, I think. It's interesting. They are. It's interesting how companies work. All right. Well, that's all I had to say about that one. I, I I learned something. I've been enlightened, and now do we? Do, now I'm really hungry, sadly. This, and I'm just going to dive yeah. into this other topic. Yeah, I say it's perfect perfect time for this other topic. <sighs> it's you because know, this has been a, a point of contention between us the last like week. Yeah, this is this would not be a mini. To- this would be a longer mini topic. Diets are awful. <laughs> I'll say it. I started Monday because I stepped on the scale, and it was not happy with it. So I was like, okay. Went out Sunday night, bought all the stuff for the diet, and the diet's fine. The issue with the diet is I'm hungry a lot of the times. Not all the time, but enough of the time that it bothers me and everything that surrounds me food-wise just sounds amazing. <laughs> like chicken chalupas. Chicken chalupas. The Chick-fil-A down the street. You know, Waterbogo ads on the radio. Yeah. Those things are fantastic. And I don't know what it is. Like, See, I never ate much of that food anyways. Like, It was a once-a-month thing. But when you, I tell myself, you can't have it. You want it so much more. All of a sudden, that's all I want. Even though on my normal days, I would just be like, I don't need that. That's money. That's unhealthy. I've got food at home. I'll eat that. And I was fine with that. But when I say, hey, you've got food at home and you cannot have that, that's all I want. And it's, I don't know. Hopefully the yeah. diet works. Diets are they're interesting to me because I've lost like two, eh, three pounds since sunday and that's normal for first week and i know the next couple of weeks it's going to be a pound or two all right and so. i there's this part of me that wants instant gratification of mm-hmm. i want to i i want to just see 10 pounds fall off and i'd be like done with this i this is like the hardest thing i've ever done all year is this diet it's, it's only february <laughs> but you know it's the hardest thing to do i think is diet and exercise i don't know why right it's... right and you just hate – it's like I went through all this work for an entire week, and all I got off of it was a pound. Little, little goals. Little goals lead to big goals. It'll happen. But, man, when the diet's over, there's going to be some food that's eaten. And then I'm going to gain five pounds immediately and have to go back on the diet. So on the flip side – Oh, yeah. On the flip side. So earlier this year, I had a cold, and I was like, bleh. And then I finally got over a cold mostly. But – one of the things that happened, or I lost appetite, and now like I'm like I want to eat because I, I was the guy who could sit down, order a large pizza, eat half of it in one sitting. An hour later, eat two, or eat two, boom, pizza's gone, whole day. I can if I order a large pizza now, I can eat like two slices. I'm just like, oh fool, I can't do it. What really sucks is going to oh gosh, so I went to Whataburger and I got I was like, yeah, man, I want some chicken strips because like Whataburger had some good chicken strips. So I got there, I got the three-piece chicken strips, like, uh, I'm not going to get the four because I probably can't eat it all, blasphemy to myself. And, like, I got the three, and, like, I go, I get to where I was going to park at because it was just on my lunch break. I opened up the box. Oh, they gave me four strips anyway. Awesome. So, you know, I eat a couple fries, I eat chicken strip, eat some toast, and eat another chicken strip. I'm like, oh, God, I can't eat the rest of this. I have two strips left. I'm like, what's wrong with me? I can't eat. And even today, I went and got like a quesadilla from guess what, Taco Bell. Those things, I I I, used, I can just devour those. Those are like nothing, just delicious nothing. And like I ate like two two slices, I guess. I guess you call them slices when they're cut. Ate two. I was like, it depends if are they cut in quarters or eighths. So, you know, you know, like I was like half, and it's like cut in four pieces. Yeah. Okay. So well, I'll call that eighths. Okay. Yeah. Well. But they're four. But there's two of them. But it's folded you... over. Oh, well, whatever. Anyways, I ate two of them. I'm just like, oh, I can't eat the rest of this. I'm full. And I'm just like, this this sucks because I want to eat, but I can't. So, and like, someone at work was like, are you losing weight? And I'm just like, it's not intentional. I'm not trying to. And this lady, being the person that she is, is like, oh, I guess you got a girlfriend. I'm just like, no, stop. Please stop. For, 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 multiple, for multiple reasons, please stop. Is that, is that how that works? I, I guess so. You get a girlfriend, you lose weight. All right. Do you, now, do you, question. You're not hungry. 
do you eat the first chicken strip in like a minute and then be full, or do you eat like me and it takes ten minutes to eat one chicken strip now? No, no, that that doesn't happen. I still eat like a normal. I still eat like a like 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 a savage. I just go go go. But it's just like it's just like I get like this like stop your full impulse faster than I normally would have. That's a that's a problem. I wish I had because. Oof. Mm, no. And I wish no. I didn't like chocolate as much as I did. See, okay, we can switch on this because I absolutely do not like chocolate. Oh my! I so I bought because someone said it's fine on the diet. This ninety percent dark chocolate. Uh huh. Because it's ninety percent. There's not much sugar in it. It's just cocoa and cocoa butter. But I so I bought two bars of that, and the problem is I've eaten at least one and a half of them already, because I cannot leave it alone. All right. I will snack on chocolate forever, and it's so good. My uh, my friend in Seattle, she works at like a famous chocolate shop, and she's one of my raid members. And so we sent each other gifts this year, and she sent like she sent me like some chocolate, and like this is high quality, like high quality chocolate. Like d- during Obama's presidency, he had chocolate shipped from this place to the White House because it was good. I get it. I'm like, yeah. uh, I'm just like, uh, do you uh, still have it? I still I ate one bar of it. I still have the other bar. I I'll, I'll trade you a bottle of Crown for chocolate. <laughs> I know this is a long pause that it's gonna have to be edited, but I was actually seriously considering that. I'm just saying I will. Oh, uh, it actually I don't have it right here. Yeah, right here, it's just a bar of chocolate. Mm. It's a San, it's a Santa chocolate, so it's probably not that good anymore. Oh, but. I oh, it's fine. <laughs> Yeah, it it's like it, it's good. It's good chocolate. I just don't like chocolate. So. All right. Anything else you want to say about this topic? Uh, I will. It's going to be a reoccurring topic because <laughs> yeah, this one's not going away unless I fall off the diet. And if I fall off the diet, I'm talking about that. And if I get my appetite back, all this quote weight I lost is coming right back. Yeah. So this one, this topic's showing up again because we'll. Get, I'll get through it. I think. Again, we said you have to you have to go on these things for at least like a month for them to be super useful. Right, and right. The, and the second treadmill down at my gym broke, so and we only have two. I need to go complain. I hate complaining, <laughs> but I need to because if I don't have a treadmill, the weight definitely will not be lost. Right. Then it's just diet. So you, you added some topics here. <laughs> I'm gonna. I think I'm. If I'm just gonna sit back. Okay. Um. Actually, do you want to save these for next week? No, I'm only. I'm only. I'll save. I'm gonna get rid of this one. This one. That one will be next week. But this one, I, I need to talk about it this week because it happened this week. Yeah, you sent me. I got a snap. I think yes. Okay. So I guess I should get like a brief summary as to what a pup is. This quick brief summary. Guys who humans who dress up who act and act and dress up like dogs for like fun. It, it's weird. I'll, it'll be another show topic where I'll go in detail. That's oh. all you said about it. Anyways, <laughs> I, anyways, that, that topic. Oh boy. Anyways, actually, I'm gonna send you this documentary. I sent someone else. It's actually a really good documentary. It's like 40, 35 minutes long. It's about human pups. It's really cool, and it's not, not. It's not lewd. I'm not gonna watch it. It's not lewd. 30, 45 minutes is uh, too much time for me to be watching you, something. You can literally just put it in the background. Um. I've got well, things to literally put in the back. Oh, I'm sorry. Your prog will be in a way. Anyways. Yes, my prog. Anyways, hush. I become pup fan. I become famous within, or not famous, but like known within the community. And people have been like, talk, like people who are like around the world, like not even just the US anymore. It's like the world has been like talking to me. And I'm just like, okay. And I guess this, this will also go with our main topic because I met some pups there. But like, um i i woke up one morning to like 28 friend requests from pups all around the world and i was just like this is weird and they've, they've kept coming they've steadily been like getting friend requests i like i literally just got another one but it's really nice like i it's this community is really nice and apparently i'm becoming known in the community and like i, I guess i'm becoming famous in the community so and i'm they, and people are like hey are you coming to this event are you coming to this event i'm like oh maybe i'll run into you guys we'll see so yeah, it's it's kind of nice. Is this going to become a pup podcast, and I'm just going to have to cater to the audience of all your, you know, you know, pup famous people? Are you going to become the host, and I'm going to be the the co-host? No, 
Oh, am I just going to see like hundreds of people listening? And I'm going to be like, pups. <laughs> no, that's not going to happen. Pups Hopefully. everywhere. That's not going to happen. I mean, I'm cool with it. I don't care. That's, hey. that's, that's not going to happen. Just go, you know, your pup community's back. Yeah, I got a podcast with like 15 episodes and they just flood it. Yeah, and then you're going to get invited to another yappy hour. <laughs> I live far away from you because I can't go to the yappy hour. There's and a, there's no, nope, nope. actually, no, this is a quick side note. There's actually a big a, a pup event that's happening in Austin in a couple of weeks and I might be there. <laughs> so I'm I don't know if I'm going yet. I'm assuming is it doing South by? Uh, when is South by? It's spring break week, which is like the no. 13th. It's literally like it's literally like not this weekend, but next weekend. I'm sure they have South by events though. That's everyone has South by events. Let's be real. I don't know, but they're having a. It's a pup and a handler from Australia are coming to like do classes about pup life and stuff. So, and they're making like a whole like thing. So I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. I, I will get the podcast advertising out to you guys. Oh my god. You don't know what you don't know what you're messing with. I don't. Should I watch the docu I almost said documentary. Yes, you should watch the documentary. <laughs> documentary. Yeah. So basically this main topic, I'm becoming kind of famous and it's kinda of nice. That's it. All right. I can't wait to have we're going to have started a podcast before you got famous, and you're going to rise to popularity because of not the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just so happened. But you know what? What's funny? It's because everyone does have that person that they follow, and then they start a podcast, and then they want to listen to that podcast. Once they find out you have a podcast. They're going to be like, oh, my God, pups invade. and pups invade. The thing is, you, you added them as friends on Facebook. You're getting tagged on Facebook. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. It, if it just if you see a lot of like bark, wolf, arf, they're they're they're, they're my they're my side. <laughs> what if I meow back? <laughs> actually, qu- actually, in our in the our local uh pup community here in Houston, we are uh, we do have a it's a trans woman who identifies as a kitty, and we call her just Kitty Kitty Ruthie. So we have cats too. We are, we are open to all. How do I signify that I am? not animal um do i just say hey see, well this could be a whole topic yeah i don't i don't know the etiquette i i just want to know the etiquette where i can say eh. well you have two choices you could be a handler for nope. pups no no i don't want to be part of this i want to say i, I want to know what language do i need to say i'm not part of this you can just be like hi i'm just i'm just here I just host the podcast. I edit. I'm I'm Mr. Editor. Like, hi, hi. Be like, hi, I'm a normie. Yes, I will be a normie now. <laughs> you're not a normie. Oh, I'm a normie. You're, you're okay. Actually, you probably are, but you're, you're not a normie. You're 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 special. I'm Mr. Editor, the normie. <laughs> yes, you're Mr. Editor. Main topic. All right. We need like some. I, I've been working on some theme music. I really need some uh, topic music. Uh, main topic's not going to be as a... Uh, because I don't need the show going five hours. It doesn't need to be a spirited this week. No, it really doesn't. But because it's in one of our areas of conversation, which one we have not brought up yet, which is traveling. So I wanted to do quick reviews because we both did trips recently. I went... I almost said I went to D.C. I'm going to D.C. soon. Yeah. Uh, so I do want your thoughts on D.C. And I went to... My thoughts are very going to be very, very different because of what I, I did in D.C. I, I'm sure, yes. I, I know how you went and saw the Constitution <laughs> and the Washington Monument and all that. I, yes. Actually, I did. Just saying, I actually did. That's what I'm saying. You, you saw these things. <laughs> but that was a one day out of, like, four. Yeah, so just... I. We don't have it documented. Um, we're just going to talk about it. When I say documented, I mean last week my show notes were very detailed. <laughs> this week I just wrote Washington, D.C., Pittsburgh travel reviews. That's it. They're just jumping points. It's a jumping point. Okay, fine. Do you want you want to start with D.C. or Pittsburgh? We can intertwine it too. So D.C. is great. I went for the Mid-Atlantic Leather Convention. 
Uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I got to meet. This is a confession booth now. Oh no, I haven't got I haven't gotten even close to the confessions. Um, <laughs> actually, I'll get I'll get to the confessions in a second if you oh, if you really want to hear. No, them. no, I'm good. Well, just one of them. One of them. One of how many? Oh, there's so many confessions, but like there actually there's two confessions I will make because one is actually kind of funny because I swear to God it was an accident. Sorry, I just. Mario run he had like so much challenge. Why do you keep but... playing Mario? <laughs> it's really good. I'm sorry. Um, but like, okay, so Washington DC. Uh, so I, I personally, I'm gonna start on my, on my last day because the last day is when I actually like went around the city. So I went to the National Mall. I, this was right before the inauguration stuff. Oh, so kinda, that's right. You were there literally the weekend beforehand. Yes, yeah, so and I got to see them all setting up and stuff, and it, it was really nice, I guess. But like. I had like a lot of stuff was blocked off because you know inauguration. But uh, while I was out there, I went to the National Museum of Art and I loved it. I, I, I loved the National we Museum went, of Art. We actually, I actually went to the. Uh, oh, we'll get. Uh, well, I'll bring it up now. The Kennedy Museum in Pittsburgh, which is an art and natural history museum, and it was my first really big art museum. Uh huh. Art museums are really interesting and weird. Yes, I I loved it. I loved it so much. I I. I could like I don't want to say like oh I could just embrace the art but like it was really nice looking at like how some of these sculptures were done how art was made and passing and the stories that they told and it was just I just I love the art museum. So was the art in DC oh the one that you went to was it old or was it mixed up with some modern art? It was old art like old art. Okay because Oz was there was a lot the Carnegie Museum has a lot of modern art. Which is some bizarre stuff. I, I think the latest dated painting I saw was like 1930s. But I didn't go through the whole okay, thing either. Yeah, we didn't have – it wasn't – I mean, it was paintings, but there were also sculptures. And then some, yeah, paintings, there was like sculptures. some weird things like a broom with a screen as a face where a camera projected this guy's – and I was just like, okay, that's bizarre yeah. and creepy and weird and – Sounds sounds very art. That sounds like very artistic. I have I have pictures I have not posted yet, and there's some, there's some arty stuff in there. Yeah, uh, I remember one piece of art that stuck out to me the most. Well, there was like three things that stuck out to me the most, and I'll just briefly talk about them. The one I did the most was it was a sculpture of it was a one it was a, it was like it wasn't like a sculpture sculpture. It was like a it was a circle. And it was a sculpture, like, sculpted into, like, a big thing of marble that was a circle. And uh, in the middle, it had, like, a, woman, a woman's face looking into a mirror, but, like, in her hair. And her hair, be- on the other side, it's, like, an old man, and it's, her hair changes into a beard. And it's the old man, like, looking up. And it's, and all around the circle is, like, uh, it's, like, a garden around the circle of just, like, cucumbers. I remember it was cucumbers, papayas, and egg eggplants, and something else. It was, like that and it was just, it was so beautiful and i was just like i loved it and i got multiple pictures of it yay you got it. if there's a picture we can post it in the show notes i'll have to find it and I'll, I'll send it to you later then another piece of art that i saw was um the story was that this person was very uh this woman was like she loved going to the sea she loved going to sea loved seeing everything but she died at sea because of a storm and a, sh- a shark ate her that, is that what the song ironic's about <laughs> No, but like the art shows her on her boat falling over, and people trying to save her, but a shark pulling her down. And it's awesome, really beautiful. Is that also the worst way that you'd want to go? No, the worst way I would want to go is falling into frozen ice, a frozen lake. And what happens if a shark gets you then? I, I'd already be dead from the frozen lake shock, so it'd just be like whatever. And then the third one I saw, it was like it was a depiction of an African American family after the Civil War. And it was like, it was just, it was so cool. I don't know how to describe it. It was like a family just sitting there doing like, fan, like the dad's getting coffee, the mom's like cooking breakfast, the children are just like playing with their toys. And it's just like, it had like, like words on it. It's like, this is like a depiction of the African American family after some war when they were like free and stuff. And I was like, that's so cool. Yeah. So you had a nice, cool art museum then. I mean, I really like the one I went to, but yo sounds very, I, I don't know, just, classic art i think yes and it was very 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 big very very big out of the stuff we i saw the classic art was the stuff i enjoyed the most the modern art some of it i was like wow even you know how like i'll send you some very random thoughts 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. These are like random thoughts in Artful, and then <laughs> three times more than what I think of. Maybe. And maybe so they were they were concerning thought. to me at a random level. Maybe you should make art. You don't. You don't want that. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. So yeah, you want to? Uh, anything else? You said the art museum. You went National Mall. National Mall. I saw the uh, Washington Monument. Uh, the National Mall. They actually, they one thing that they they didn't. Cause I went to DC when I was like thirteen and with my family and everything. So that was like whatever. But like, as family trips often are. Right. But uh, one thing that I've noticed that I really like is that like all around our, all around our hall, they have like a ton of food trucks and they have all kinds of like different types of foods in them. I kind of ate like a bit, a bit of everything and it was amazing. So, so you're saying the diet thing needs to stop when I go there in a few weeks. Seriously, you need to try to just don't eat that day. But when you get to the National Mall, just eat at food trucks, only food trucks. Noted. I will do that. Food, you know what sounds really good right now? Uh, Philly, a Philly cheesesteak sandwich. Oh, God. Because <laughs> I, I had one in D.C., and it was pretty good. Well, it was like it was okay. I didn't like it that much because they used uh, chili powder as a seasoning. I was like, ugh. Funny enough, you know what I had in Pittsburgh? A Philly cheesesteak. Philly cheesesteak. And it was really good because I think Phil- Pittsburgh's close enough to Philadelphia. They happen to be in the same state. It was a, it was a good Philly cheesesteak. I'm trying to remember where we got that. I'm blanking. Oh, I got it. Oh, my God. That was so – Okay, so this is uh, – back to the diet. Every piece of food that we are talking about just sounds so amazing. <laughs> like I'm just falling back in my chair thinking about them. Like, oh, chicken chalupa. <laughs> all I, – I get a pail after this podcast. You know what? You know, after this podcast, I'm going to – Oh, it's like 1030. I, uh, I, guess, I'll just eat, I'll, I guess I'll just eat breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> What were you going to get? I was thinking I was going to go like... Uh, McDonald's is all day breakfast. But it's not Whataburger breakfast. That starts at 11, though. Oh, that's right. I can go. Sorry. <laughs> no, I don't, feel like, I don't feel like getting back out. It's it's late. I'm old. I'm tired. It's cold outside. But there's breakfast. Mm, I'll be all right. It's not, it's, it's not like I'm that hungry anyway. I'll probably just like nibble it and be like, I'm done. Does Ubo Eats deliver Whataburger? Um, No. But uh, DoorDash does. Oh, so there you go. They, I, I, I'm not paying that egregious, egregious charge. Egregious. I, is that your Roman name? My Roman name is Gregorius. A Gregorius. No, just Gregorius. And what else, yeah, what else did I do in DC? Oh, I saw the Navy Monument, which was really cool. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of monuments there. It's funny how Washington, D.C. is all historical and stuff. I had went to the museum for the uh, – I was going to try to go to the uh, African-American museum, but, like, I tried to book – you have to book that if you want to go there. And I tried to book this back, like, three months in advance, and it was still full. But I got to see the outside of it, and it was really cool. Uh, I got to go to, the, like, one of the parks on the, around the National Mall that had an ice skating rink. And I was like, I would go ice skating, but there's too many children here, and it was too small. So when I was there, see, when I went there way back when, it was flooded. So a lot of stuff was closed. It was, like, I never got to see the, like, National Archives because it was flooded. Uh Which was a shame because when you go to D.C. for the first time, what do you want to see? National Archives. But I went to the uh, the Aircraft Museum. It was really good. Ah, okay, yeah. And the, uh, actually, funnily enough, the Holocaust Museum. Ah, yes, yes, Was very interesting. It's like that... It's that thing I went and did once, but it was, like, really creepy at the same time. Mm-hmm. Like, the elevators were gas chambers. Oh. Like, that's that's kind of cool, but kind of scary. Yeah, it was one of those, like, okay, this is neat, but you just get those, like, it was still, it was chilling. I think chilling is the correct word for that, and it, as the museum should be, I mean. Right. Obviously. Oh, uh, I also saw a protest against... At the Trump Tower. Oh, I, hey, why is that? Do you, are, they, are people mad about? I, never mind. I joined the protest at Trump Tower for like five minutes, but it was like it's cold. It's cold, guys. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, like it, this was this was like around like ten o'clock at night. I was like, guys, it's cold, but I, I, I'm with you guys. It's about I, cold. I feel like I, when I go now, it's just gonna be a giant protest. 
Amazingly, the protest was really peaceful. It wasn't like it wasn't like you know riots or anything. It was just it was just like a protest. That's it was, it was, why it was there's really a nice. difference between protests and rioting. Yeah. Protests are supposed to be, by definition, yeah. really peaceful. Yeah, let's just let's just hope that. I'm not gonna get political. No, um, no, no. This is not. This is not a, <laughs> this this is not a political a, podcast. This um, is a safe space from political talk. I I I actually, by the way, edited out because we make political comment like little. <laughs> we do. I edited all of them out last week just because when I was listening, it's like I really don't. After the fact, I don't like them much. Right. But as I was saying, you know, like it was nice seeing like protests, seeing people be active and stuff. That was really cool. It was, it was just at the Trump Towers. It wasn't at like the White House or anything. You, know, you don't. Yeah, I would not want to protest there. <laughs> I feel like you could get in trouble. No, I, I, actually, you can protest there as long as you're like in, with outside of the, of the uh, perimeter. You're fine. And there's usually a lot of protesting, but I didn't get I didn't get that close to the White House either. Other things I did there. Ooh, I should talk about that, but I feel like I shouldn't. Um, Your choice, not me. Uh, well, no, I, I went to the letter convention. I met, met made some friends. That was really cool. Looked at some stuff. I didn't buy anything though, because I because I really didn't see. I, well, I tried on some leather stuff. It was really cool, but I didn't. I didn't buy it. You're famous now, so you know you can. Yeah. Walk in the door. Yeah. Uh, no, what I tried on was it was just a shirt. It was like a it was a formal leather shirt, and it was really cool. Uh, I found out that my size in leather is an XL because leather fits very, very differently than normal clothes. Obviously, because if you're an XL, I don't want to know what the other sizes are. But it was really nice. Like, like I put it on and it felt like, ooh, this feels right. Like, you, know, you can put something on and it just like feels right. Actually, that's just... me with sweaters. <laughs> that's me with leather. So, <laughs> so I'm painfully white sometimes. Eh. It's all right. So am I. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was really, it was really cool. Um, I got to talk with some of the like the people who actually like make the leather gear and stuff. Uh, got to learn about how their process and, and why their products are different from other products and how they treat their leather. Really, it's really cool stuff. Got to see them work. Got to see a guy make a piece from beginning to end at like a little uh, like a show, I guess. Where he's like he had all his leather, his leather working material, and he just he made a just a vest from beginning to end using like rapid new leather techniques. I was like, that's pretty that's cool. cool. That's cool, yeah. Well, I went to a few parties while I was there. Uh, one was like a crazy dance party, and it was it was cool. But it was loud, so I didn't stay that long. You are, you really are old. <laughs> and then the other one I went to was a very lewd party that I didn't know was lewd. I didn't like. I I promise. I swear to God, I didn't know this was a lewd party. It wasn't on the invite. It wasn't. It really wasn't. I just thought it was like like it was an invite. Was like, oh, we're gonna go get like it was part though. The invite was just like fun stuff's happening. I was like, cool. And it's like and like three DJs do all playing music. I'm like, oh, okay, it's gonna be like a big thing. No, I was so wrong. <laughs> I was so wrong. Oh my god. But you but you but you went. I went and then I was gonna leave because I was like, "This isn't right. This is this is this is too much sin." <laughs> it's, that's bad when you. <laughs> yes, yeah, so like, I was like, "This is too much sin." But then my friend showed up. He's like, oh, "Are you having a good time?" I was like, "I didn't know that this was gonna be this, but um, it's 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 something." He's like, "Oh, well, just stick around for a little bit. Maybe you'll find something you like." I'm just like, ah. <laughs> Maybe I don't do. I don't know, but then I ended up sticking around, and, and still, uh, still, I was, I was still there. Uh, but I ended up just like talking with some people while I was there. It's just, I ended up having a good time, but it was just like this is not what I expected. Oh my god! <laughs> but it, it, was, it was, it was still a good time. Quick, quick, funny story about that. This, this relates to back to that whole diet thing. Actually, uh, my Uber, I, I took a Uber from where I was staying to this party. And somehow the Uber driver and I got in the conversation of like, he said that, that I looked very athletic and I was like, no. <laughs> I'm just laughing because I know you, that's all. Yeah, you know me. I'm not athletic. I, I start, I, you're the guy who, when I started climbing up two two steps at a time, you're like, I could never do that because I'm not coordinated enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's your athletic level, one step at a time. Okay, so in my defense, stairs are my enemy, like... I can do a lot of things, but stairs is just, I, I, I can't, I, I just can't go upstairs fast. I, I actually, I actually can't. Anyways, he said that I look athletic and I was just like, no, no. And so he's like, oh, well, you must have a girlfriend keeping you busy in bed. And I'm just like, ha, 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 ha. 
ha ha what is it with people associating being not having like not being fat with having a girlfriend just like that that i don't see the correlation i mean i i get it but like dude come on like i can't i can't say that because i can't say that because i'm not going to curse i was just like come on and uh, is that what you were saying? I was gonna say, "Come <laughs> the hell <laughs> on!" But I was just like, oh, "I can't." But you know what I was gonna say? I'll I'll, I'll, edit, I'll edit the bleep in. What, whatever. I, I I've already declared my innocence. Keep that in, please. Nope, that's going. That's out. Well, <laughs> you. <laughs> anyways, <laughs> um, so anyway, so we get to the where the party is, and the guy's like, he's not letting up on this like whole old oh, girlfriend's keeping it slim thing. And he, we get there, and there's like these like like obviously gay leather daddies outside in the line, just waiting to get in. I'm like, yep, that's my stop by. Although although not obviously gay le- leather daddies, because I just feel like those. You were in Chicago with me. You didn't know what those it was ob- until I told you. Those are obvious. Those no, are obvious. After Some of them the you didn't know. Yeah, after the fact. No, that's no. the thing. After, after the you fact. told me. After you told me, I knew. Yeah, after you after you knew, but before then, you didn't know. Oh, oh, also, I'm, some people I'm, from also Chicago- I'm also an innocent Christian boy, so. Yeah, okay. Um, some of the people that I met in Chicago, I met, I ran, I met them again in D.C. at the convention, which was really cool, actually. That is neat. And an even weirder thing, they remembered me. You're, you're famous, remember? The, no, this was before the fame. No, I think the fame started then, it's just getting to Facebook now. Oh, well, cool. all right then. So, yeah. But DC was really nice. Uh, the people were really nice. The food was really good, of what I ate of it at least. Cause I remember going to this pizza place and I was like, "Yeah, oh, I'll, just, I'll just get a slice." And I was like, "They were like, I'll just get a slice of pepperoni." And I was like, "I was struggling to eat that thing. I couldn't even eat the crust." And it was just one slice, and that was like, like the only thing I eat that day. And I only ate that all day. So the uh, the the episode that we called after Miss March third, I, I fly to New York. Breath of the Wild comes out. So I think the episode we code the following week is going to be all just you about Breath of the Wild and me talking about New York pizza because that's my entire weekend and the diet is out the window right there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you, yeah. you mentioned I I follow more people who post pictures of pizza from New York on Instagram than I care to admit. Yeah, I I follow a lot of pizza blogs on Tumblr. <laughs> and every mm, piece I God. see, I I I could I think I could just eat pizza that entire weekend and I probably will. I could eat pizza my entire life. You just, just change the toppings around. I think it could just be pepperoni, and I'd be totally happy with <laughs> life. Right. So yeah, you, you mm. said pe- you said pizza is a trigger word for me right now. <laughs> Triggered. So yeah, that that's it for my that's it for DC. Just it's a good town, good Uber drivers. Oh yeah, if you if you decide to use a uh, Uber or Lyft, the prices for Uber were cheaper in DC than Lyft. So. Yeah, that's it for me. Yeah, I will be there in a couple of weeks, so I will definitely uh, be talking about it because travel reviews. Pittsburgh was, I would just say, cold. Yeah. Or, I'm sorry, D.C. was cold as well. It wasn't cold. It was in the low 30s. Oh, okay. This guy is from Connecticut, so he's like used – He he's a Yankee, so like – no, no, this stuff is like normal for him. No, I was in DC. I was, I was, I was like, this is cold. This is ice. So here was the issue. I was sick the weekend before, and I took sick days Monday and Tuesday because I was still sick through Tuesday and still lingering the rest of the week. So I was still getting over a sickness, and that froze me. Like my my body was not ready for jumping from the seventy degrees here to the thirties there. And the problem yeah. was. It was slightly raining, so it wasn't snowing. It was raining at 33, which... Just on the edge. Oh, it was cold. On and the precipice. It, it was windy. It was not miserable, but I think being sick... I I, I, had, I didn't call you, but my voice was gone for uh-huh. two weeks. Like I could barely talk through the whole trip. That's why I was sick. I lost an entire octave. It was weird. It, no, it was hard to talk because I, I'm very used to talking up here. Uh-huh. And I and I lost this entire octave. <laughs> so you were deep. No, not well, deep. Not it's deep. Just, but I didn't just... gain a deep octave. I just lost this one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have many other ones. <laughs> so I would start talking, and it would just be nothing. I'd be like, try to find how I can, because you have to talk differently to talk deeper. Yeah. <laughs> and I could not. 
for the life of me. So yeah, Pittsburgh we went to the art museum and that was like other than the art museum that first day, we walked around a bit. I walked a lot because you you've traveled with me. You know how I how it goes. Yeah, I know. I know he broke my knees, guys. I I found a park. It was five hundred acres. It was hilly. Oh no. Oh no. No 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 no. Oh yeah, I forgot about that trigger word. Hilly. Oh no, no. Okay, so DC was actually pretty hilly as well. But it it wasn't nearly as bad as Boston though. You loved those hills, though. Actually, before they broke my knees, yes. Yeah, before you thought they were your friends. So yeah, I mean, we did that. Like, it. The problem was, it was January in Pittsburgh. It was cold, and the other problem was, it was playoff football weekend, and there were four games that weekend. So oh. I found every excuse to a get inside where it's not cold, and b watch football. So a lot of the weekend was spent. The Steelers were playing. We watched the Steelers game. Patriots were playing. Watched the Patriots, Texans, Cowboys. They were all playing, so I watched them all, which makes for a very non-interesting trip. Other than the food was kind of good. It was cold. It was cold enough that my phone was dying. Ah, you know? uh, yes. I remember I remember that. That happened in D.C. to me one day or one night. It's funny because in Boston, and what we're talking about here is iPhones, if you are from someplace that's not cold. If you're from someplace that's cold, you're laughing at us right now iPhones die around freezing. Yep. Well, the batteries just start draining. They won't turn on around 20. And we simultaneously figured this out in Boston. Yep. We were like, what? Huh? Why, why, what? My phone just had an 80% battery. Why is it not working? Oh. Why is it? Yeah, I can't even turn this on. Yeah, and there's that oh moment. And, of course, I went a year without thinking about it because, again, never gets that cold here. And if it's that cold here, I'm not outside. And we were walking around, and that thing was just dead. And I would charge. I was like... I had it plugged into my external charger, charging as fast as it could, and it was still slowly dying. Yep. And I, I don't know. I, I I understand why, but it is annoying, and I was also freezing at the time and just wanted food. And <laughs> there was I can always tell when I come back because I have like a five hour period where I didn't take pictures. So yeah. that's I know it's like I was freezing. I was miserable. I wasn't. I wasn't loving it. Yeah, I wasn't in a picture mood, and my hands were freezing, so they were saying, well inside the gloves. But that was, like, I didn't, I don't have much to say about Pittsburgh. I really like the town. It weirdly is a place I could, if you wanted to move somewhere, I, it's growing. I like it. I like, I like, I like this because they have the penguins. Yeah, they, okay, yeah, we went to the sports ball, and when the Texans Patriots game was on, five TVs had the penguins game, one had the football game. That makes me so happy. Like, you don't even know. That makes me so happy. The whole bar was just watching the Penguins game. A regular season Penguins game. Yes. I don't understand this hockey thing. Yes. But it was fun. The, like, it's growing. There's a lot of new restaurants, lots of new breweries, lots of new. There was this one place we went. I love This is why I got the Philly cheesesteak. It's, it was open from, like, 11 to 2 a.m. So good hours. Beautiful place. It was a diner. So they had a like an eight page menu of food, and I got like fantastic Philly cheesesteak, fries, coleslaw, and the drink. The sweet tea was free, so all of that combined was like nine bucks. Wait, now when you say sweet tea, I mean Yankee stupid January sweet tea. Okay, that's what I was about to say because I just I, need, I just needed clarification. Yes, it was off. It was not great. It was how Yankees make sweet tea, which is they make tea and put sugar in it. You know the wrong way. Uh, yes, we're very passionate about how sweet tea should be made. Even though I, I don't even drink sweet tea anymore. I don't much either. I just... I, I, I just, like... Every now and then I get, like, a craving for it, but, like... When it's, it's cold like outside, I want ice drinks because that's my Yankee side right there. So that was Pittsburgh, and I don't have uh, much else to say on it. Okay. I will, I'll be writing a post and about it because I... Stuff I want to write, but really it was a... I was sick and there was football on and it was cold, so I wanted to watch football inside. But hockey. Oh, hockey! I watched. I paid some attention to the hockey. Oh, I got that was this dessert thing I got. Oh, it was a cobbler. I ate that whole thing. It had ice cream. That's now I see why I gained all this weight. <laughs> it's all becoming clear to me now. I saw the diet money. Uh, Sunday night, I went out for French onion soup and ate half a loaf of bread with butter on each slice. Mm, that actually sounds really good. The French cafe, the La Madeleines, is it? I I adore that place. The French onion soup's good. The and they just have unlimited bread and butter. Mm. Which is and they got they have a fire inside, which is it's great. 
And it just reminds me of that time when you were down here and we went to that Italian place on the, uh, Oh yeah, I. and we got I, drinks and we're like, can we get bread? Can we please? I really could use, and we just, that was, that was some good bread. Dude. That was delicious. Any place that has bread and butter, I will mm -hmm. love for death. Because I think bread and butter is, it, it, it might it, be the best food. Yeah. When I was in DC, I went to this uh, little diner. It was called, uh, I think Slim Jims or whatever. It was, it was near the B and B I was staying at. And like, but I, I got like breakfast there. It was, it was like, I was like, I don't even like breakfast food, but this is delicious. It was like, I got something that I don't normally get. So I was like, I'm going to try something adventurous. I got like their berry pancakes. Ooh. And it was like, it wasn't just like one berry. It was like all of them. Exactly. Yeah. It's the way it's supposed to happen. <laughs> yeah. It reminds me of a certain someone who, uh, crosses the serbs but uh it was it was <laughs> is that, is that that's another topic for another day <laughs> um but yeah it was it was really delicious i was like oh this is good oh i got i got berry pancakes when we went to chicago that's right i got a lot of berry pancakes that's those right were, those would i want to go back there that was actually really good i mean i want i actually i was thinking about going back to chicago for that weather convention again but i don't know if i'm gonna be able to is it but, is it Memorial Day weekend as well? Yes, that's up in the air right now. I, so. I got I got plans. Oh oh, where are your plans? Uh it's super secret. I need to text it to everyone, but I want to go up to uh, the national park, uh, Banff National Park in Canada. Oh, that's right. We talked about this. We did. Okay, I still need still need to get my uh my uh thingy that lets me you, leave the country. You passport. <laughs> yes, that. <laughs> All right, so that's all it for the podcast this week. I did want to mention quickly because I didn't talk about it last week. How to follow us? And they the reason can follow I us? Do, you, yes. do we really want? Do we really want stalkers though? Do we? No. Yes. Yes, we do. We do well, on social media. Well, actually, no. Uh, is, yeah. Not I. Not IRL. Please, yeah, please no. no. Please no stalk IRL. Please friend. Um. <laughs> yeah. Well, I didn't mention it last week because I don't have the thing. Everything set up yet. But by the time the first the ep first episode won't go up till I have everything set up, so I might as well mention it. There will be a uh, site which will hopefully it I I haven't bought the domain yet. I should do that like tonight. But the unobtrusive dot com, and that's why we'll be hosting the podcasts. The podcast will also of course be in iTunes, and I will figure out how to do the RSS feeds for you know Spotify and Google Play and Overcast and any podcast app, you know. So. You'll be able to find us at theovercast.com. We will have the well, the unobtrusive on Instagram. We've got the Facebook page, the unobtrusive. Twitter, we are the unobtrusive. That's with two E's because someone was the unobtrusive already. Thou. Thou unobtrusive. I should have done thou, but I went with the with two E's. So those are your best bets to contact if you want to tweet at us or post on the Facebook page or I guess Instagram works. YouTube. These the podcast, by the way, will also go up on YouTube. So YouTube comments if you really feel like it. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! And there is an email. Please, you can email at theunobtrusive at gmail dot com. That's uh that's a professional link there. So yeah, feel free to follow us on those if you are interested, and we will routinely post. I'll have blog posts up on the site, which are mine personal ones. Podcast stuff will mainly be up on the site. Instagram will be. Of course, not podcast. It would be photography. I'm not going to post a podcast is up. A new episode of the podcast is up on Instagram. <laughs> I won't be that guy. Twitter and Facebook might get that. We also are uh, the unobtrusive on Pinterest. If we have a Pinterest, we have a Pinterest. Would uh, you like to, I should give you the passwords to these things. Uh, okay. Do you want a pin? I like Pinterest. I, I'll. I couldn't get into it. I sadly, I'm. I limit myself. I could definitely get into it. Oh. Do we have a Tumblr? I tried to set up a Tumblr and it kept failing. Well, I'll get I'll get us a Tumblr. All right, All right. Okay. okay. I'll let you I'll let you be our Tumblr director. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> You're the Tumblr expert. I'm not. This is, okay. Okay. And of course, we have a we have a Twitch, the unobtrusive at on Twitch as well, which will show up when we both have switches. Because I will be I will start streaming under that. Can you can you just wait for this the Splatoon two, uh, streams with both of us? That's going to be interesting. Well, I'll do it. That's going to be really interesting because, like, I'm going to get so mad about stuff because my bubble. 
My bubbler isn't. Th- I'm going to curse so much. Hey, on Twitch, coach, uh, coaching, uh, cursing is fine on Twitch. I'll allow it. Thank God, because I couldn't do it. Or well, I, I know, I know. It. I'm not going to tell you. You can't. <laughs> Nintendo's going to ban me <laughs> with the voice chat. YouTube and uh, yeah, might be a. I'll just label it. No, I'll bleep you out on YouTube, but Twitch. No. Just put it for mature audiences. Oh, on Twitch, I have to. Yes. Beep this beeping um, splat roller and beeping beep beep bull beep beep. Every time I splat you with a rollo, it's gonna be. I'm just so mad. I don't. Okay, no, that's what I was gonna say. I just don't have the bubbler anymore. I just, I just. I, I, I... But th- yeah, that is it for the week. Please feel free to check us out on our social medias. Like Greg said, we like the stalkers there, just not IRL. Yes. And don't sign us. Don't sign the email account up for spam, please. Please don't sign us up for cat packs. <laughs> hint, hint. Oh God, I don't want some cat packs. And we we will see you next week then. See you guys next week. Toodles. Bye.